Hello folks. It's me again, Jay from Another Dying. So uh, I talked about this in the in the recent Windows 98 stream, but um, I've been away for a bit. I've been in London for a week and uh, that was fun, but now I'm back and uh, we're going to continue playing Caves of Cud. So I got a lot of really good advice, a lot of really good advice recently in the comments and I'm going to try to implement some of that going forward. Um, you know, this has happened again, so we're going to start a new character. And uh, I think I'm just going to replay the most recent. Oh no, that was stupid. That was just me getting into the game to test something. So we have to create a new character. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's start with that. With that. So, toughness, strength is going to be increased anyways. I'm going to put that into intelligence, because we need those points. I wonder if there's diminishing... Uh, let's not do that. Let's put that into toughness. Okay. And, um... We're just going to do the Child of the Hearth thing again with the Carbide Handbones. That's what I played recently. And I'm just going to play this again for now, because, uh, you know, that was the character that I abandoned. And, uh, you know, and after this one, we're going to switch it up again and play something a little more involved. How about that? So, yeah, there's a bunch of things that I need to do and that I need to get better at. And, uh, you know... A lot of folks have been putting their fingers on my worst qualities as a roguelike player. You know, my worst, um, not qualities, my worst habits, so to say. The main thing is that I tend to be lazy, which is death. And this is really the thing that prevents me from getting any better at the game. And, you know, sometimes I'm just too conservative, especially when there's no need to. So um, there's no need to conserve water, for example, because if there's anything in absolute abundance in the game, and I actually know that, it is water. So uh, it's just, just buy everything that you can get, and it totally makes sense, right? So um, there's a lot of... There's a lot of artifacts here, for example. We cannot really afford anything just now because we only have 52. But uh, I think I'm going to come back here and just collect a bunch. So we have a bunch of different injectors. These are probably grenades, but this is way more expensive, so I don't know what that is. Um, we have... The laborer security card that would be neat you know sphinx salt there's some stuff here let's take a look at that thing visit shush shush is a good name and uh, let's explore that let's get our guys quest what do you have a water skin, okay. Nah. Let's trade. You have a, no. You have a lot of uh a lot of data disks in this run. So we're going to get rid of these grenades. High explosive, yes. So this gives us our first level up, which is neat. Um I'm going to keep that for now to get bludgeon. So let's go downstairs. So yeah, I kind of do want to um, do want to actively work on my play and to act actually get better at the game and not just play this game on autopilot because that's what what's kind of standing in my way the most. 
So for now, we're just going to collect everything. And we're going to get rid of that. You know, everything that is at least sensible to collect, I guess. Bunt capacitor. What about that? Where are you? Canimus Pilgrim. I wonder if we are too weak to actually do any harm. No, we can do that. Level 3. Good. It gives us a good amount of experience for the start, at least. So let's get that. Let's get a bunch of this stuff. And let's take a look at what we can equip. Um, now we're going to stick with the leather apron. But I'm going to put on the hat. We have nothing. 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 That's fine. Do we have anything? No. Okay. Let's rest up and continue. So yeah, that's my... Uh, that's my... Belated New Year's resolution is to try and actually get better at playing this game. I've been kind of... Um, recently I've been kind of on a thing with that. Um, you know, I, I have a Switch. A Switch console. And I just bought a shoot 'em up for it. Because... Why not, right? I was never really, I could never really get into shoot 'em ups, but that was mostly just because. What am I doing? That was mostly just because I, uh, I did never give them the time of day, and uh, I just thought to myself, hey, I'm just going to play this one for ten hours and see how good I can get, and I actually saw myself getting better at the game. <laughs> Obviously, because that's what happens. And that is a really satisfying feeling. Um, and I'm kind of into shoot em ups now as well. They scratch. Weirdly enough, they scratch a pretty similar itch to this. It's just you versus the game. And just. Um, essentially, the thing that you do in shoot em ups in order to get better like the the vector for your skill in the game i f i found is mostly that you train your brain to not get overwhelmed and re be able to read the screen and react quickly especially if there's a lot of stuff going on the thing with about shoot em ups is or like good shoot em ups is they look crazy but if you just take a step back and look at what's actually happening and what can actually harm you there's actually not that much you don't need to move a lot in shoot em ups weirdly enough you just need to know where the safe spots are on the screen and, um, you know, there's a lot more to it than that, but uh, that's kind of a basic thing. And, uh, you know, it was just like, hey, my brain is actually kind of doing that. And that's the most satisfying feeling in the world. Okay, we're just going to get rid of all this stuff. I think I did not look at the painted two-handed sword. We're just going to sell the scrap for now. Wood buckler. Okay. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah, 92 drums. With that, let's go to you. All that slugs. Um, no, it's the boots that I don't have. Okay. Ring mail. Yeah, that's not too great right now. You know what? I'm just going to buy one of these. That's shade oil. Okay. Good to know. See? I'm getting less precious with my with my water. There really is no reason to. And again, I know that. Okay, there's a boss. At this stage, boss can be kind of kind of a problem. Let's get our strength up to 24. And we're gonna get bludgeon. 
Also, another thing someone said is super, <laughs> super frustrating is that I don't use the cooking buffs. There's a lot of cool stuff you can actually do with it. So I'm going to engage with this a lot more. How about that? Okay, let's stun this guy. Oh shit. What? Oh, two health. Good. I'm probably going to die here. Let's see if the salve will actually do it. Okay. And I'm dead, yeah. I was almost I was kind of expecting that actually. Um let's just do this. This was a pretty early death. So let's do this again. Um but this is the last punch man that I'm gonna play. For now and after this character, we're going to pick something else. <clears throat> Should probably go. Ah. Accept quest. Accept quest. No. All right. Ah, two copper nuggets. That's kind of neat. Give me that. All right. Weird artifact. It's a flaming iron longsword. Well, with no cell in it, but that's fine. We can give that to Argive, actually. Masterwork short bow. All right, fantastic. Hey, buddy. You do have a weird artifact for 2,000. Man, that's a thing. Give artifact. Yeah, you can have that sword. Uh, do I have anything else? Yeah, take that injector. Whatever. Don't like getting rid of injector in this unceremonious way, but uh, got to do what you got to do. Look, yeah, do more. Is where it's way north again. So I think it's in the same spot as in last run. So. No need to adapt. <laughs> we can just move on. Bunch of weird artifacts, a few tubes, okay. Um, the desert rifle. I think I'm going to get that desert rifle. Early desert rifle is good. Let's get rid of what we don't need. Like this stuff. Yes, okay. Did I get rid of the torches? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's go down again. Warp. Ah, the automatic stairway does not work, obviously. Okay, we go we are in Baboon Town here. And there is some amount of mall. Lacustrine ecosystems cast in lime-rich mud put their million-year-old affairs on display in chalk white shine. Ugh. This game has just the best descriptions of anything. Okay. So we're going to get rid of these baboons. The early bab like baboons are super annoying to fight. But having a bunch of them this early is actually kind of neat because, you know, like this is the only spot in the game where fighting them actually makes sense. So, yeah, Iron Dagger, why not? So that's the stairs down, okay. Leather cap, okay, so. That goes with us. Nothing here. All right, good. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Accidentally walked north. There were some no worms here that luckily did not follow us. So... Always something to be glad for, I guess. Dilute salty small stone. Okay. Hey, got some goggles. 
Let's collect the goggles. And we're level 3. That means strength goes up and... We're getting ready to bludgeon some fools. I'm just going to clear out this whole map before going up. Painted hand axe, okay. Medates, good. And wooden tunic. Also, I've activated an option that I should have activated long ago, which is uh, that we're always going to open this window, this dialogue, even if there's only one item on the ground. That will... Oh, oh no. You know what? I'm just going to lure this guy back to Joppa. I think the Warden is not that. Oops. I'm... Uh, fucking hell. Ugh. I, uh... Did a goof there. I'm just going to do it again, because it was again on the first floor of the thing. This is actually... <laughs> I always think like, ugh, maybe I should not... Maybe I should not publish this, because there's actually nothing happening here. But then again, that's part of the game. Hand axe, okay. Why do I go in here? I don't know. Yeah, this is not too interesting. Probably, like, luring that guy back to Joppa would probably have worked. But, yeah, I've missed the stairs. <laughs> Two weird artifacts are these grenades. Yeah, these are fungicide grenades. Alright, sure. It's again way north. We've got the streak of northern historic sites. Well, that's fine. Crystal shard mail. Are you kidding me? Fuck me. <laughs> we're not gonna. We're not gonna get that much money anytime soon. But jeez, it kind of makes me want to kill Argive. But that's going to fuck us up for the main quest. And I think I'm not going to be able to do it. Or the, also, I think everyone... I don't actually know Like if anyone sees me, like if I were attacking him from here. I don't know. What am I doing? So first of all, we're going to get this. Do I have anything? You can have one of these fungicide grenades, why not? Okay. Man. What a thing. It's a pity it is so fucking expensive. And you have steel plate mail, that is more in our in our range of affordability. So we're just going to go shopping in a moment. Now let's get rid of that. Sure. Okay, so what we want to get is a steel plate hel helmet, plate mail. So that's about 300, a bit more than 300. Floating fucking glow sphere. What the fuck is going on? Man. You folks have some stuff. Okay. Sharp mail is probably out of the question, but I do want to get the other stuff. So we need to collect a lot of money. So we're just going to We're 
We're just going to lug everything back religiously. And there's no snap jaws here so far. So, don't know if I'm a fan of that. Because I want to collect your crap. Your bullshit. Your knickknacks. Oh god. I'm getting stoned here. <laughs> In the literal sense. Why am I bleeding? What the fuck? Okay, I think there was a baboon on the stairs, but no they they couldn't they could let you bleed they had bleeding attacks well you always learn don't you bludgy okay This is annoying. There don't seem to be any snap jaws around, so... Hey, fuck off. Okay, at least there's the stairs down. I'm still going to clear out the map. Oh, there's a hulking baboonery. Here we go. You know, baboonery. Just the... the attitude of being a baboon. The general disposition of existence as a baboon. Okay. No snap jaws. In this run, where I need all the money. This is... Not... What I'm into. But there, now we're talking. Okay. We need a lot, so... I could also sell all, all my injectors, by the way. Except for the salve ones. Probably going to do that. That artifact. Defoliant grenade. Yeah, that can be sold. Everything can be sold. We're going to sell every last bit of our crap. I'm going to sell... If I had a firstborn daughter, I would sell her. If I had a firstborn son, Sold, without any further questions. If I had... Parents in this game. Sold. <laughs> okay. The way is blocked by some shale. How stale. Okay, yes, all of you, yes. Be the bracelet, that's what I want. Give me that good shit. All right, let's go down. Just going to fill up our inventory here. Yeah. 
in the process we are obviously going to collect some experience as well which is good don't seem to be many snap jaws around here don't there hmm We might go up pretty soon, and I'm going to do some desert canyon runs as well. Ah, there we go. Hello, buddy. Warm Benus. That's going to get equipped for now. Shit, shit. This is problematic, but it's okay. We did it. Killed that thing. Young Ivory is revealed. Um, oops. I would like to go down, not up. Here we go, level four. This is a bad position to be in. Okay. Let's go here for a moment. Yeah, give me all that stuff. Gain the level, we're level five. Let's rest up. Um... What should we get? So we're already calloused. I think I'm going to save that up for basic duo wield. And that's what I'm gonna do. If we are lucky, we might actually get that. Oh, there's a location of a historic site. If we are lucky, we might actually get that floating glow sphere. So. That's the name of the game. Give me all that shit. Who is shooting me? You are shooting me. How are we doing? Yeah, we're almost... Almost filled. First... Yeah, sure. Give me that shit. Um, club, indeed. Oh hey, a C Jack. I hope. I don't know if I was pronouncing that right. But yeah, cut stream. That's what I usually do. Okay. Oops, now we're actually carrying too much. Uh, let's drop the furs. So currently, I'm collecting everything that I can get. Because, uh, you know, I'm in the very early game. Usually don't do that, but for now, there's a bunch of stuff that my man here has in store that I want to get. So, I need some early money. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Okay, a C Jack is right. I am the first person to get the pronunciation right first time. I'm happy about that. Usually, it does not go that way. It does not go that way. Um, mm hmm. All of this. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough water containers. That's a thing. Okay, well, then we're going to get some water skins. Or well, maybe we can actually get our first stuff here. So, let's see. Yeah, the. We're actually going to run into a water container problem if we do want to get the. Um, if we do want to get the floating glow sphere. Yeah. We have not found a Norworm skull, haven't we? Nope. Okay. 
be a bracelet coming like this. How far can we go if we do actually... It's a bad... Actually kind of a bad idea, but uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Still obviously not enough for the floating glow sphere. But we could get these two buddies. I think I'm going to do that and we're going to just keep collecting. Uh, scaled. Yeah, scaled is better, but let's not go for that right now. Yeah, sure. Trade complete. Okay. So, steel helmet. I'm just going to go all in on our value, by the way. We now have minus two dodge value, but that is... We're going to, we're going to live with that. Um, let's get rid of a bit of this. And we're good. Okay, trade complete. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk into the desert canyons. Just getting through the salt marshes and here we are. Desert canyons are good because I tend to have snap jaws. And the type of snap jaws actually carry stuff. So that's what I want. No luck so far though. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey folks, how are you doing? Until now you were doing well, I suppose. But now... A murderous asshole with a profit motive. Has just walked into your canyon. And it's fucking everything up. That's how this game works. Leather cap. Oh no, I, I do have the steel helmet. That's stupid. That's just gonna get sold. Okay. Alright. What do we have here? Yeah, hand axe, sure. Weapons are always good, like especially swords. You know, long swords, especially of the of the better than iron or better than bronze rather. Variety are good. You know, engravings and stuff also neat. Again, we're just going to walk through here, get as much as we can. And then go back to Joppa. We need to be a bit careful about... You know, I think the inventory reset does not... I, I'm actually not sure what triggers it. It's probably time. But I think we're going to be fine. I've played for pretty long. I think I did like multiple quests. You know, the, the Rust Wells and the and Red Rock and so on, and there was no reset yet. So we might be okay. But I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure what actually triggers it. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. We might not get the floating glow sphere. If we don't, it's fine. Can you please destroy that thing? Thank you. Stunning. Stunning performance. By yours truly. Okay. I mean, at least that gives us a bunch of experience, so that's fine. Sure. Yes, that's what I want. Need a bracelet, indeed. Okay, hey, we're level 6, awesome. 
Okay, so, um... Let's get backswing and conk. Which is always good. And I'm going to get cooking and gathering. So we have meal preparation. And... Yeah, now we can choose ingredients. That's good. That's fantastic. Alright, let's continue. Hey, Snappy. There's another one over there. Hello. Come here. Good white brim tat. I'm going to take that. Bronze mace. I'm going to take that. Collecting the garbage. Slender leather cap. Neat. And a staff. Okay, I'm at 311. Notice some new ruins nearby. Where are the ruins? I did not investigate, I think. Nope, I'm a Dumbo. Shit. That was a grenade. Don't throw that at me. Yeah, let's collect that. That. And that. Okay. So. Let's go back to Joppa. Talk to our buddy. Inventory has not reset. That is good. And we're gonna get rid of nonsense. Weird artifact. Don't know what that is. We need to take a look at that before we sell it. Yeah, that's not a ton. Placement. Oh, well, we're kind of a few more of these holes, and we're we're getting there. The grenades are gonna go. Everything's gonna go. Everything's gonna go. I don't have enough water containers. Yeah, we do need a few of those, unfortunately. <clears throat> I might actually also sell my sell my cells. I don't really need them right now, or at least the cam cell. We're going to keep maybe keep the solar cell. Club. Did not pick up a no worm skull, didn't I? Nope, no no worm skulls. Usually you drown in these things, but right now, no such luck. Uh, yeah, sure. Blaze salve. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Glow sphere. Wait. Okay, what is that weird artifact? It's seven pounds. Oh. Huh? Let's take the cell out. Hmm? That gives us a bit... Gives us some more money. Blaze injector, yeah, sure. Also, I've been using the torch all this time. I'm stupido. Okay. Let's get Kraken. Collect some more stuff. I think we might be able to do it if we don't get an unfortunate reset. Forgotten ruins. Okay, maybe we find some stuff here. If not, there's at least some snap jaws around. Always something to be glad for. Okay, dog corpse. Ah, there's a... That's a mine bot thingy. Hey, come on. Don't want to step onto the mine. Okay, there's another snap jaw, but not really. Hmm. 
Okay. We've explored the entirety of the ruins, but that's fine. Ah, hello. Iron dagger, sword, battle axe, and sturdy, that's good. Ring mail. Yeah, sure, why not? Wreath, hand axe. Sure. Yeah, there's, there's a good amount of snap jaws here. I'm into that. Cult chore. Yes, all the stuff. Gimme. Also go downstairs here, but you know, steel short sword. That's good. Do we have any ingredients? We don't have any ingredients, so let's just whip up a meal for now. I didn't. I could have preserved some ingredients, but yeah, nah. <laughs> it was stupid not to, but whatever. Okay, 